Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Sunray coming at you all with a life-changing, transformative prophetic word very much in time for this 11th hour that we are in, all right? And I'm not speaking 11th hour from my own understanding, but what the Lord spoke at midnight, amen? All right. So I want to read these scriptures to you first. I'm going to be first reading Isaiah 60 and 1, Psalm 30 and 5, and then Psalm 30, 11, the Amplified Version. Okay. So it says, Arise from spiritual depression to a new life. Shine. Be radiant with the glory and brilliance of the Lord. For your light has come. And the glory and brilliance of the Lord has risen upon you. For his anger is but for a moment, but his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may endure for a night, but a shout of joy comes in the morning. You have turned my morning into dancing for me. You have taken off my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. Today's prophetic word is titled, The Dawning of a New Day. The Dawning of a New Day. And I'm here to prophesy to some of you that your new day is coming. When we speak about dawning, dawning is that transitory point that occurs a few hours after midnight, but also a few hours before the sun is set to arise. So it's really a middle ground. And so when I'm speaking of the dawning of a new day, that is the point that we are at. So the Lord is saying, and he has been saying from the beginning of December, specifically around December 7th to the 9th, that there is a closed book of your life. Now, what I think is so prophetic is if you were following the ministry around that time, you would have seen the different lives that I was posting around that time concerning the big thing that the Lord was doing in your life, concerning the the weight of the glory that is surrounding some of you. Okay, we must know the Lord, he announces things before he does them. All right. Spiritual. Um, spiritual revelation before physical manifestation. Amen. And so the Lord said then to me, he said, this is a closed book of your life. You see, we often speak of it's your new chapter, but a new chapter is still underneath the same pretense of an old book. Amen. And so God wants some of you to understand that you are no longer in the same book of your life. The book has been closed. And so what does this book represent? It's marked by struggles, lack, where you're operating in your anointing, but you're not in your office of appointment. You're not doing fully what God said you would do as you are in this anointing. He said, oh, it's time, it's coming, but you aren't there yet, right? And so the thing is, you've been in Lodabar. For people who attended my higher Bible study sometime in November, maybe October, the Lord said, I think it was on the cusp of October to November, the Lord said that if people were to come close to him and to stretch themselves in intimacy with him during the entirety of November, that by the end of the year, he was going to put you in your position. It was going to be a high or it is going to be a high level promotion okay high level promotion and anybody that knows anything about Lodabar Lodabar is a place of low vision it is a place of no pasture uh low pasture no vision that's what I meant to say it is a place where the nobodies go it is a place where the rejects are it is a place that is unvisited okay and so anywho that's what the old book of your life is. It's Lodabar. 
But if you guys paid attention to that Bible study, what did I say? I said, may the king send someone or may the king himself come and carry you across the threshold. Who was in Lodabar? Mephibosheth. 2 Samuel and 9, it tells us that Mephibosheth was the son of David, okay? And so being that Mephibosheth was the son of David, I mean son of, did I say David? I meant to say Jonathan. He was the son of Jonathan, okay? And he was seeking to show kindness one random day to the house of Saul on behalf of his covenantal relationship with Jonathan, all right? But the thing was, when the king, when the kingdoms transitioned, his caregiver dropped him so now he was lame he couldn't move some of you this last book of your life it looked just like that you could not move yourself forward you cannot take yourself across to the next thing your anointing was already there you're like god i'm already there but i'm not physically there because you aren't able to carry yourself across amen <clears throat> let me get these notifications off my screen Yes, so you weren't able to carry yourself across the threshold. Amen. And so the Lord says, you have been sensing you were on the cusp of something big, which is why that prophetic word probably was highly confirmatory for some of you, right? Because you have been sensing it. And so what the Lord has said is you have been at the threshold of your new day, right? When you're at the threshold, the threshold represents a transition point. And for those people who watch that Bible study, I'm going to uh, put the image up here that during that Bible study, I revealed to you a, a, a significance about the threshold at the threshold of your destiny. On one side is dry. Lodabar is dry. But on the other side of that door is the fruit of the land. On the other side of that door, it's amazing. It's light. It's beautiful. It's all the good things. It's your new book. And behind you or on this side that you're currently on, right? This is the current book, right? Where it's the, the depression, the heaviness, the things that, that, that signify the darkness. And so you've been at this transition point. But the thing about the dawning of a new day is that... In between that mid hour where it's still dark, but it's starting to be light, the light doesn't suddenly come in and take over, right? It doesn't, it doesn't just happen like boom, like, okay, it's midnight and then at two o'clock AM, it's a gradual incline. And so a lot of you, the Lord says you were already. So when you heard that word, it was already yours because the Lord had already, well, he was already telling you what was to come. OK, and so the thing is, is that as it was a transitory uh, period in the realm of the spirit, a lot of you were experiencing the residual effects of the dark the dark season or the dark book of your life. It's like, God, you said joy, you said peace, you said love, you said prosper, you said my assignment is here, da 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 da. But where is it? But you have to understand that it's the dawning of a new day. The dawn, it takes time to fully arise for the light to fully encapsulate the surface of the earth. Amen. And so specifically on um, 1224, which is Christmas Eve, God said to me that someone is coming to pull you across that threshold. Okay, someone is coming to pull you across that threshold. That person is your helper. Amen. The Lord is sending you a helper. This helper is where your anointing already is. Amen. This person is where you need to be. This person is the key that the Lord is using to bring you to the next level. And so another thing that I also wanted to say, the signifier of God's light in your life, when his light shines upon you, you access favor and you are surrounded by his glory. Remember the word about breakthrough. This all goes goes together where he said and um what was it was it Isaiah 60 Isaiah 58 where it speaks about the proper fast the fast that the Lord denotes right and it said when you do this fast that your that your um your healing will break forth like the dawn isn't that what it says oh my gosh let me pull that up actually I have a whole computer here hold on one second All right. So it says, Isaiah 58 and 8, 
after he tells you what type of fast to take, he says, then your light will break out like the dawn. And your healing, your restoration, your new life, your new book will quickly spring forth. He said, your righteousness will go before you, leading you to peace and prosperity. All right. And the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard. So let me tell you some things that God said the new book of your life will have. From barrenness to fruitfulness, from sorrow to gladness, from shame to honor, from overlooked to sought out, from many to major, from single to married. From kidless to mother, from poverty to wealth, from sickness to health, and from lack to abundance. Okay, this is why this is such a powerful prophetic word today. Because the Lord is telling a lot of you that you have been on the dawn of your new day. You have been on the cusp of this big thing. And this new day represents the new book of your life, okay? And so, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say is that. We are in the 11th hour. We are in the 11th hour. I know um, the 11th month towards the end of the year, but we're in the 11th hour. This is that moment. And if you guys were paying attention to that prophetic word that I posted, it was just 11-11. The prophetic word that I posted, maybe, hmm, I forgot. This is really big or something like that. It was like a two hour long one. I was in the car after church, right? But if you paid attention during that one and the one that came before that, I was speaking of what the Lord was doing, that he was going to be pulling people down from high positions and that he was going to be putting his people, his righteous remnant in certain places. It is going to be a huge shift, just like we all can clearly see when it transitions from dark to light. That is what you are going to see as well. And so I just pray over each of you that you take this word to God. Determine if this is for you. Yes, at one point in your life, it will be the dawning of a new day. But for some of you that have been following the words on this ministry the ones recently as of late and the lord has been ministering to you greatly through them <laughs> no that hallelujah thank you lord that he has placed the staff he has placed a scepter in your hand your position of authority, it has already been given to you. You already carry the anointing. Now he is sending in a helper to carry you over the threshold, just as he did with Mephibosheth. David didn't go get Mephibosheth himself. The king sent Ziba. So either the king will come find you or it can be very uh, equivalent to the story where the king, God sends someone. At the end of the day, it's still God doing it. So I mean, hey, but y'all get what I'm trying to say here. It's the dawning of a new day. And this is a really exciting prophetic word because the Lord is saying that this is a moment that you have been waiting for to have certain troubles over. And I can actually prophesy to this being true about the new book and the dawning of a new day. Back in March, um, the Lord was speaking to me about the exact same thing. And it was a certain situation that I was going through in my life. And it seemed like it would never be over. As soon as the Lord was the using the signs in the sky to show me the transition between uh, darkness and light with the rain, right? With the clouds. He was showing me this so greatly. And when he spoke it to me, he said, child, it's over. He said, it is over. And when I tell you that difficulty that I was going through in my life at that time, it was over never again to be talked about never again to be experienced and so when you hear this word today i want you to take heart and know that if this is your word the lord is saying that at the time he was saying it was a chapter right the chapter's closed but now he's speaking about the book and i'm grateful for the whole book to be done god just take it it's been quite ghetto but it's okay amen and so Again, I love you. I thank you for joining me today. And I pray that you'll rejoice. Because this is a new. This is a new. A new book of your life. This is a new. A new book, a new 
time with new joy and new love. Hallelujah. And so last thing is that Bible study is on tonight. Make sure that you are there. This is the last Bible study of the year. And when I tell you, this is going to be an amazing Bible study. I... It's going to be amazing because it's actually going to be what recalibrates you before the end of the year and helps you walk into your new, the the Gregorian calendar, new year, right in alignment with God. It's completely amazing. And so if you can join us, please join us. Spots are limited. Okay. I'm going to extend some of the tickets for people that know everything with the Bible study is completely free. You don't have to pay. I just do tickets to make it easier so that, um, the certain amount of people that come in are accounted for. Okay. Ahead of time and everybody that has gotten a ticket or that, um, you know, will be getting a ticket. Know that I will be sending an email close to the time of Bible study. So please just pay attention to your emails just in case things change last minute. They shouldn't, but I'm just saying, just keep your eyes close to your emails as you are being prepared to go to Bible study. I love you all so much. And again, this is your new day. Hallelujah. I love you. And I'll talk to y'all later.